Hey friends, <coughs> beautiful things of nature bring pleasant thoughts to the poet's mind. And now the second stanza is more about pain, terrible pain. Uh, on his pleasant thoughts, happy, relaxed. Uh, and uh, he is all around, he, what he hears is musical sounds. But in the second stanza you find the, there is grief. Grief means mental pain. What do you say? Agony. A-G-O-N-Y. In the mind of the poet. Why? That's the point. The point is there is a direct different, uh, reference to the French Revolution. And the uh, words link means connect. connect. Grieved means feel mental pain or pain. Grieved. I feel Grie there's grief or grieved, that means pain, especially mental pain, not physical pain, mental pain. If there's an wound, you have physical pain. But suppose something very sad happens in your life, then you find, you, you feel grief. You are grieved or you are, you suffer from mental pain. And that's what's happening in this stanza. To the poet. The poet feels, he feels grieved, mental pain. First answer, there's pleasant thoughts. He has got, he is enjoying pleasant thoughts. Second stanza, he is feeling terrible pain. Yes. Now I have simplified it for you. There is an intimate relationship between man and the beautiful things of nature. And this is his belief. We have already seen pantheism, that the same divine spirit runs through all the created things in this world. Humans and all the created things in the world. The same human spirit, uh, divine spirit. That's called the presence of the, presence of the divine everywhere you will find. That's, that is what we say in one word, we say pantheism. P A N T A G I S S M T A G I S T A S M T A G I S M. Already uh, we know that we already I had already I told you about this and I think in my first class itself introduction or the second one yes and then that is pantheism the belief the strong belief that the same divine spirit the same soul. The same divine soul runs through humans and all the other things created by God. And that is that belief he is stressing here. That's why he says there is an intimate relationship between man and the beautiful things of nature. A soul is living in the poet. Human being, you know, in us also. The same soul lives in the beautiful works of nature. The very same divine spirit runs through him and also through the fair works of nature. Fair works of nature means beautiful things of nature. Nature is happy. All the things in nature together make melodies, sing and dance. This brings pleasant thoughts to his mind. But the poet feels terrible mental pain, grieved. The poet feels terrible mental pain when he thinks of the cruelties committed by man on man. That is brackets a reference to the French Revolution and the mindless killings of men by men. That is the thing. Why his mind is grieved? Why is he grieved? It's because of this. The cruelties committed by human beings on human beings. Now we'll read the stanza. To have fair works, her nature. To have fair works, that means good work, beautiful works, beautiful things in nature. Everything in nature is beautiful. To have fair works, did nature link? Did nature link? Nature linked. K E D. Link connected. The human soul that runs me, that through me ran. So that is his philosophy. 
that is his belief, strong belief. A human soul in me, the same human soul lives in, in a flower, in a tree, in a plant, everything. That's what he believes and that is his strong belief. A hu the human soul that through me ran, ran means through me, in me lives. Through me ran means in me lives. And much it grieved my heart. Grieved, that is the key word. Grieved my heart. It gave me terrible mental pain to think what man has made of man. In society, what do you find? There is division, there is quarrel, there is cheating, there is betraying, there is there you find revolu there are revolutions, isn't it? Then uh, fighting, uh, people are jealous. Then some people they are very they are very cunning. They want to cheat other people. So what is man? What man has made of man? The human society is corrupt. Everywhere you find deeds which are not, they don't go along with or hated by God and the Divine Spirit. God and the Divine Spirit hate such tendencies in society. But that is what is happening in the society. Around us, that's what, the, what is, what, that is what is happening. Infidelity. Infidelity means you are not faithful to your friends or to other people. You are cheating. See, people, are, people are more than loving, they are cheating. More than loving each other, they are hating each other. More than living in brotherhood, they they are, they are living hostility. Hostility means enmity. Therefore, when I see what is going on around me, what is going on around nature makes me happy. Fills my heart with pleasant thoughts. But when I see what is going on in this human society, it grieves me, it gives me terrible mental pain. A person who has, who, who, who can think, a person who has got a love towards humanity, he can only, he can only express his grief. He is very sad. He feels terrible mental pain when he sees the behavior of people in the society. So it is about that. Now you understand, lines written in early spring is not just about nature, but from nature it's about the human society. Why? Because nature and humans Nature and human society, they are linked to good. There is a very close relationship between, or intimate relationship between nature and the, the fair works of nature and the human soul. This is, the, this is his strong belief. This is the philosophy of Birdsworth and that philosophy in one word we have already seen pantheism. I will write it that once again. Pan, pan means all. Theism. Theism. Pantheism. This is the belief that the divine soul is present in all the created things in this world. Understand? So it is, so it is actually it's a deeply philosophical point. So when we, when you read further, then you will understand. Where the end of the uh, poem, he concludes it saying like this: 
this is my strong belief, he says. So this expression of the poem is an expression of his strong belief that the same divine soul that lives in human beings also live in all the things created by God in this world. Hope you are enjoying and I am making things clear to you. So till we meet again, bye.